afternoon everybody, this is Randy from Texas NEV. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing video of the, the uh, 5,000 watt, 8,000 watt peak hub motor kit that I have listed on uh, eBay. Uh, so that way when you get it, you know what you got in here and uh, no surprises. Now, if you uh, happen to order one um, and you see that everything's been gone through, that that's, doesn't mean it's been used. It's just that this was the unboxing video that I did on this one. What we have here, we have the, this is the five turn motor, so that's the uh, the lower speed but the very high torque. And uh, with the proper battery, you should see torque that is similar to almost, almost one third the torque of a Chevy Tahoe 5.3 liter. So, uh, <laughs> so here we go, in, in uh, spirit of Toasty Bros, go with the un uh, un unnecessarily large knife, let's open the box. everything boxed up here. We have the uh, controller. We'll get into that. Here's the uh, the pedal assist sensor. Optional if uh, if you want. You don't have to use this. Uh, this actually slows you down. Doesn't speed you up because if you put the pedal assist sensor on, then um, uh, you'll get full power when you pedal. If you don't use the pedal assist sensor, sensor then you always have full power. So. Don't need that. Here's the uh, terminal block to connect the brushless motor to the uh, controller. Take that out, take that out, put that over here. And then here we have this nice uh, display instructions. And we have this nice color TFT display where you've got on off switch and your up and down for your different screens and whatnot and you see everything is color coded nice okay put that there that's your display and we have we have your motorcycle twist throttle which I kind of like I I ordered these with the, the twist because it's actually very high quality. It's got a very nice feel to it. And again, color coded. Um, some people do the thumb thing. I don't really like the thumb thing. So if you want to make a motorcycle, you might as well have motorcycle grip on it. Twist. Here's the dummy one for the other side. Right over there. And then this is it's just such a nice kit because you've got one master connector, okay, that plugs into your controller. And then you got all these different nice color-coded uh, connectors here for each of your things. That over there. And this is a, the 5T motor gets a, a pretty beefy controller because the 5T is more about current than about uh, voltage. So here we've got our e-brake. Now, for those of you who don't know what an e-brake is, okay, this uh, this is the way they all are, but this is not electronic braking. Okay, this isn't like a replacement for your disc brakes. This isn't like make the motor go backwards or whatever. These are just this cuts power to the motor. So if you ever have a chance of a runaway motor, just squeezing the brakes ensures that there's no way at all possible to uh, have uh, it keep going. You could just turn the switch off too, but whatever. So. You got two e-brake handles here, and since it already accompanies the existing brake, you might as well just put them on, right? You might as well because it's just it's everything is so easy to connect. There's that. <coughs> okay. Fillet this fish up. Should be good tonight for dinner. Whitefish. Yeah. Okay. Big beefy controller. This is 100 amps at 72 volts. So uh, it can actually take a peak of more than 100 amps, and the motor is rated at a peak of uh, 8,000 watts. So a fully charged lithium battery 
uh, a 20 s battery is 84 volts 84 times 100 there's your 8,000 watts which by the way is a crap ton of power as you can see yeah Seventy two volts. Okay. And so you've got your three connectors for your, your motor. These go to your brushless motor, they're color coded. Obviously, this is your main power. And then you've got your uh, your anti theft uh, and your uh, hall uh, hall sensor for your motor. And you've got your main connector for all of your accessories. Okay. Right there. So, all right. So here we've got two hall sensors. I'll explain that in a minute. So there's your color coded uh, battery. There you got your three green, blue, um, and then you got two hall sensors. They're both exactly the same: red, white, black, yellow, green, blue. And if there was ever a situation where one of these went bad, you'd have an extra. Or if there's ever a situation you needed to wire one that ran in reverse, which I don't know why you would. This isn't a go-kart. You could do that. All right. All right, here's the beastie. I had these made special. Beautiful. So what we have here is I had them made this way specifically for me. Uh, a double thick uh, aluminum rim, suitable that it's it's super thick. It's like this thick. Okay, like it's like motorcycle thick rim. I said go ahead and make it a double thick. And they did, as you can see, we've got two layers of aluminum. And then I said make <coughs> I said <coughs> use motorcycle spokes. So they use thick motorcycle spokes, double thick rim. People, this is really beefy, really, really beefy. Now, this is a standard 190 millimeter dropout, standard fat bike dropout. Some of them are 170, um, but most of them are 190. And as you can see, it's a big axle shaft here, but they had milled the sides down so it still fit in your dropout and slide in. And so, and it, <coughs> along with that, <coughs> excuse me, I have an upper respiratory infection. They've got these locking locking washers here that goes into that slot to keep it from coming off okay this is a pretty beefy motor uh, probably 20 something pounds 25 pounds on the other side you've got your your cable and then your axle shaft whatnot so but <clears throat> normally you'd see these where you'd want to put some sort of protective tape uh, over this you still might want to put like a double layer of Gorilla Tape sometimes I did that with mine it wasn't really necessary but they sell the rubber the wide, wide rubber protector things and then you put your your, your uh, inner tube and, and fat tire on um, but I don't know where you get those or the kind of expensive but um, Gorilla Tape folded back to back on each end so that it just becomes a band it's great so other than that uh, this is uh, this is a this is it so the price of this is uh, $8.99 on eBay I also sell the components to make the batteries here when you do the complete gift kit for uh, $17.99 you get this very high-end charger 12 amp variable you get a 100 amp BMS and these cells here these cells are awesome these are amazing go-kart e-bike batteries you need 20 of these things I can make a battery for you that be uh, 34 amp hours As you can see in a fat bike oops without a water bottle holder you do 20 of them you're gonna have an overhang about three inches from each center and that according to my measurements should not affect with pedaling so if not, you could do on the back 
or saddlebags or whatever, but uh, if you want to be able to dump the current necessary to power this beast, this is the kind of stuff you're going to need. You can use regular batteries, and uh, regular store-bought uh, e-bike batteries, 72 volt, 3,000 watt. You're not going to get the, the, the power dump, but it'll work fine. So <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to send me an email if you've got any questions, and I'm here to help. Take care.